Hey guys, it's Julius again from Spectrum Topics, and today we're going to be talking about what it means if the next Xbox is going to be always online. Uh, before I start, you guys got to hit subscribe and like this video so you can keep up with all our um, gaming videos and X Xbox or gameplay or whatever you guys want. Uh, comment what you want us to see. Um, but recently we've been hearing a lot of rumors uh, that the next Xbox is going to be always online or require an online connection in order to function um, and you know, play games properly. Um, so a couple days ago, a creative lead on the Xbox team started tweeting out implications that it will be always online, or at least defending the fact like online, always online products. Um, yesterday we also heard rumors that it's going to have a May announcement, um, which is dangerously close to E3, so I don't know what that's what that means. Um, but what it means, I think, is that they're going to have a... they're going to always ha can rely that the user is going to have an online connection, which op opens up the possibility of just having a TV service built in or working with cable providers to have their own service or kind of a different type of uh, cable that you already have on your TV. So we don't know much about that, but it has some, I guess, neat applications. Um, it also has, they're always relying on the Kinect. The Kinect is going to be reportedly built into the next Xbox. Um, so, for example, this is an example that came out that if there's multiple people inside the room, they're going to cater videos or recommend games that maybe please that larger audience. Or, like we see in the, the upcoming Galaxy S4, um, if you look away from the TV, then it pauses. Um, it's kind of smart functions like that um, that we might not be able to see in the next PlayStation. Um, but my opinion is they I, I, they can't... They, they, I really just don't think they can do... They will do this. Um, it's a... Th I'm on, my opinion, a bad idea to make the Xbox always online. Because um, if I buy a product, let's say it's $400, um, I want it to play whenever I want to play it. If I'm going away for the weekend and the place doesn't have Wi-Fi, I want to play the Xbox you know, with Wi-Fi or not. Um, that's going to cut out a huge market, I think, around the world. Most of you guys already have internet because you're watching this video. Um, remember to like us and subscribe. Um, so you, that might not be a problem for you, but people maybe in the middle of the United States and the Midwest who don't always have an internet, um, or people in outside of the United States, because believe it or not, there are people outside of the United States, um, maybe like Middle Europe or places in Asia or stuff in Russia, they don't have internet, or lots of them don't. Not all of them don't, but there's a good portion. That's kind of a huge market for Sony or Nintendo to scoop up. Um, that's just... I think that's just shooting themselves in the foot. Um, it's Yeah, I don't believe they will, but all these rumors are suggesting it. Which, you know, maybe it is. But in my opinion, that's not a good idea. Um, but that's just me. What do you guys think? Um, put your comments... Um, Comment on this, what you guys think, what it really means for gaming, the gaming console as a whole. Um, what you want me to do a video on next, um, gameplay videos, news, whatever, my uh, opinions. Whatever you want to see, remember to comment, uh, like this video, share it with your friends, and follow us on Twitter at Spectrum Topics um, to get all your needs, um, be notified when a video comes up, all that. Um, so guys, thanks for watching.